So as someone who's now been involved in publishing a bunch of trials in England where we've tested a lot of these things out and published them, it, uh, the OMRAC or Z responder criteria don't work very well, and I, I wouldn't use them. The, nothing works so much better than WOMAC to detect the efficacy of a treatment that we ought to automatically discard WOMAC. I mean, it, it doesn't, WOMAC could be improved upon. I, it, what Tim said is absolutely right. And I, I, I'd like to hear Dan Claw's view of the sort of the stuff that Tuhina talked about earlier, which is, do we use something like WOMAC for a long-term trial or is there some kind of shift that occurs in pain reporting over time that makes that insensitive, in which case we have to come up with other measures for long-term trials. But there are alternative short-term trial pain measures. Some of them are activity-induced pain measures. Some of them are uh, patient priority measures. So what hurts you the most, okay, is a really good question. Turns out to be very sensitive to change if you then have a person uh, grade it. It, it worked better in our trials than the WOMAC did. Um, so, and those were trials of po positive trials of treatments that were efficacious compared to placebo, which is important. Um, so there are alternatives to WOMAC, but we're not gonna cut, it, it's very unlikely that we're gonna come up with short treatments that are efficacious short-term that WOMAC completely missed. WOMAC is not that bad. I mean, it's, it's pretty good. Um, and uh, it, you, you don't do that much better than WOMAC, except maybe long-term, which I, I don't have a sense of. And I, I guess I did want to defer a little bit to Dan there and ask what his opinion was. We don't have any good way of knowing that people reset their pain scores over time, but everyone thinks that does happen. And so I think that is, the longer the trial, the, the harder it is for me to see that you know, any kind of pain measure is going to be a valid measure at, you know, three to five years after an intervention. And, and so I do think that the measures that incorporate pain interference, you know, the WOMAC, I would call um, the, the WOMAC functional uh, scale is really what we would call a pain interference measure now. And um, it it's really asking the degree to which pain interferes with function. And those measures theoretically should be um, better over time because you're asking about specific things in asking of people, how much does pain interfere with your ability to do this rather than just asking about their pain per se, which again, they may shift their, you know, what they call a four out of 10 pain. But I, but I do think that the, that the more objective measures of function really haven't been very well explored in OA, whether it's actigraphy-based ones or again, the ones that you've, you've written about, David, that I, that I really think that a combination of a pain interference measure, and, and again, I, I, I hate the WOMAC, but I have to agree with you that it, it's not, <laughs> even though it, it has a lot of problems, it's hard to find something that performs a lot better. Um, but I would, I, would, I would say something like the WOMAC function measure plus a more objective measure of function might just conceptually be better than anything we're doing right now. The WOMAC was designed to test efficacy of NSAIDs in six to 12 week trials, and it does that exceptionally well. Um, but we're doing meta-analyses as we have across the and landscape of osteoarthera uh, OA therapies. We're struck in looking at the WOMAC when you look at one or two year trials that the pain trajectories of the treated and placebo groups um, almost always converge. Um, also within the WOMAC itself, the pain subscale, um, when it's, it's positive, you occasionally see a blip for um, uh, stiffness and occasionally for function, but consistently those two subscales perform uh, less well. So, um, the um, you, you know the the the, the WOMAC is also uh, uh, it, it, the, the yeah the comment that it, there's nothing better actually uh, numeric rating scales are daily and average over the week perform better than the WOMAC even in the short term trials so there there are better instruments I mean it's uh, I I I think uh, um, you you know you're right we we don't have something that's obviously better right now but that doesn't mean we shouldn't strive 
to, to improve upon what seems to be a flawed instrument in the context of longer term studies, and that's relevant to disease modification.